Welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate the risk and return for a two asset portfolio in Excel. In our example, our portfolio consists of stocks A and B, where A has an expected return of 0.98% and B has a return of 0.58%. A and B also have respective standard deviations or risk levels of 2.98% and 1.44%. The correlation, or extent to which the stocks move in relation to each other, is minus 0.38. Based on these inputs, we want to calculate what the return and risk levels are when we invest different proportions in stocks A and B in order to identify what the efficient portfolio would be. Therefore, we can invest different proportions in A and B. For example, we can invest 0% in A and the remainder in B, or 10% in A and 90% in B, the only rule is that our portfolio weights always add up to one, as we assume that stocks A and B are the only two stocks in our portfolio. To calculate the risk and return of each portfolio, we will use the following formulae. The formula on the left is used to calculate the expected return of the portfolio, while the formula on the right is used to calculate the standard deviation or risk of the portfolio. Starting with the return, we firstly take the weight in stock A, which is 0%, and multiply it by the return of A, which is 0.98%, and then add the weight in B, multiplied by the return of B. Now, before we click enter, we're going to add absolute references to the individual return figures to ensure these remain static as we bring the formula down. We can then double click the bottom right hand corner to bring this formula down. Therefore, as the weight in A increases and the weight in B decreases, the portfolio return increases until the return is maximized when all of our funds are invested in A and none are invested in B. Now this outcome makes sense as A has a higher expected return of 0.98% than B, which has a return of 0.58%. So that's how you can calculate the expected return of a two asset portfolio. Now calculating the risk is slightly trickier. We type equals SQRT as we want to find the square root. And then we first enter the weight of A squared multiplied by the standard deviation of A squared plus the weight in B squared multiplied by the standard deviation of B squared and then we add 2 times the weight in A times the weight in B times the correlation and we then multiply this by the individual standard deviations. Now before we click enter we're going to add absolute references to the correlation and the individual standard deviations to ensure these values remain static. We can then again double click the bottom right hand corner to bring this formula down. Now the risk interestingly starts quite high despite the return being at its lowest and then reduces up to a point and then increases again. Therefore any of the portfolios where the weight in A is less than 30% should not be chosen because we would be taking a higher risk for a lower return. However, picking any of the portfolios where the weight is greater than 30% makes sense depending on our risk return preferences. So that's how you can calculate the risk and return for a two asset portfolio in Excel. In the next video, I'll show you how to plot these risk and return figures to graphically show the efficient frontier. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.